Hi, it's me, Slippery Gym Mate. Uh, I've been experiencing a bunch of crashes on Vulcan. I haven't tried on DirectX, haven't played long enough to experience the crashes on DirectX. Um, and one of the crashes was especially bad that it corrupted my game. And I tried to turn the... No matter how many times I tried to turn the game on, it just wouldn't launch. So I've reinstalled my entire game. And since reinstalling my entire game, I've been getting loading issues, I guess. Like... Constant drops to zero FPS when I enter maps, when I do anything, when I attack a mob, when I do an ultimatum, when I do anything basically. Uh, I've done tried a whole bunch of fixes and stuff. I finally found one that worked, so I'm gonna show you. Hopefully, like I already know, I already fixed it, and I already made it work. But now I'm going back to the settings that I was using beforehand to see if I can make it jank again. So let me just see if it's shit again, or whether it was like a retroactive fix. Let me just jump into a pack. Um, yeah, it feels pretty shit. See? See these, like, drops to zero FPS and all that stuff? Uh, the, the gray box, I downloaded, um, Glasswire. It tracks your bandwidth usage, usage basically, uh, to relate, like, my spikes in my latency, to see whether the spikes in the latency graph were actually spikes in my latency, and as you can see, it's a little offset, because the tracking on it is more accurate than the PoE's tracking. Or maybe the PoE's tracking is more accurate than it, because it appears to be, like, Appears to be like here-ish, maybe. And this doesn't go right further, so maybe PoE's tracking is better than Glasswise tracking. Either way, I was just doing this to test whether the latency spike was actually accurate, because the latency spikes in game were pretty much one to one. Anytime I got a latency spike in game, and my internet connection is fine. Anytime I got a latency spike in game, I got a FPS dip. I mean, it wasn't the only time, but it. Pretty much lined up to these massive FPS tips also lined up to my latency spikes, which didn't make any sense. Anyway, yeah, um, jumping through maps, just having a horrific time. Anytime I encountered a pack like this, it would start of the game. It's pretty good in this map, so I've done it a couple times maybe, I don't know, but uh, new maps is especially worse. The floor doesn't load, I get constant freezes, attacks don't load, all that kind of shit. Turns out it's an issue with texture streaming. So... Basically, the fix is to disable texture streaming, and all that does is make you have a slightly longer loading screen, but for me, since my computer's fucking beefy, the loading screen... I mean, I'd rather experience all the frame dips during a loading screen. I mean, that's what loading screens are designed for. No offense, GGG. I'm sure once your texture streaming is actually working and up and running, it's going to be amazing for people on hard drives and stuff. Since I'm on an SSD and I have a decent internet connection and a decent computer... I'd rather experience a microsecond longer in my loading screen than experience a billion microsecond loading mini screens during gameplay, if that makes sense. So anyway, constant, more or less, up and down, FPS freezes, all that shebang. I'm going to close this, uh, and I'm going to display capture my desktop, no judgment. So that was that through the launcher. This is, I've taken the uh, launcher location and I've grabbed the client, created a shortcut to the client, and that's this, and then I've gone to properties and added dash dash wait for preload at the end of the target, and this just makes you um, wait preload all the content in the actual map as opposed to, you know, while you're in the map. So it's in the loading screen now. So let's load it up, I'm in Discord, that's my sound effects, see this? It's gonna look like shit sometimes because it's loading everything before you can do anything. So sure, the loading screen in the game is taking longer. And the loading screen... I mean, this is bad. Like, this, that's bad, compared to, like, actually loading into, like, Oriath. I mean, I guess maybe in a league, loading into Oriath might be bad, but I'm in a private league, so loading into, like, town is no issue. Loading into my hideout is no issue. Loading into a map is no issue. And I'll show you the FPS difference. Should I do the same map? I might as well do the same map. See if I can encounter some packs, and you can see the... Insane difference between... Oh, my lord, it's, it's, it's... I didn't put a portal, did I? Okay, new map. Let's grab a random map, random shit map. Uh, let's open... Look, another lighthouse, why not? Grab a lighthouse. Slap this beach in. Load up my bar. Load up my... Glass wire latency tracker. There we go. There's a pack, I kill it, no frame drop. Walk through an ultimatum, no frame drop. See a pack, kill it, Sweet. little frame drop, not a lot. No latency spike is the main thing, because I'm not downloading, I guess, shaders or whatever. No latency spike. 
Do this, no latency spike. Do that. Blow up an entire legion. Like a frame dip, like sure, but it's like a constant smooth frame dip. Like I'm okay with smooth ones because I don't notice them. But if it's going from like a hundred frames to zero to a hundred to zero to a hundred to zero to a hundred to zero, that's when you notice it. This is like the smoothest gameplay I've had in like a year. I mean, that's probably not accurate. It's the smoothest gameplay I've had since they added texture streaming. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd throw nice. this video out. I'm also I'm still doing private league shenanigans, which is basically just normal trade league, just a smaller economy. So it's like a big group SSF. Got ED working, but I mean, ED is, you know, doesn't really require anything to make ED work, and it doesn't really work into red map. So I'm, I've hit a wall in my progression, but that's okay because uh, someone finally got the dancing duo prophecy. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get a dancing duo build working. Even though last league I tried to get a dancing duo build working and it just wouldn't work. Anyway, that's the end of the uh, you know the PSA, PSA, the PSA. That's the end of the PSA on how I fixed my FPS drops. And I'll timestamp directly to the point where I, like, the, the loading preload change, so if people are coming in just for that, that's exactly how I fixed it, and maybe you should give that a go. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be playing like this from now on. It's satisfying. See you later!